to my channel. This is Eva's Vegan Kitchen where I cook plant-based whole food vegan recipes every Sunday or every week. I try to get out a video every week for you guys and a lot of my recipes have been in German so far but I decided to switch to English so more people can see and I can reach more people. I still provide all the instruction written down in German as well in the description below. You will find a link to the blog post so don't worry if you are German and you want German instructions you can read them after. Um, and yeah, today we are making a vegan lasagna and what's special about this lasagna is that it's gonna be a whole food plant-based lasagna with a cauliflower bechamel sauce. A classic bechamel sauce is made with flour and with butter and today we're gonna do it differently. We're gonna use cauliflower and we're gonna use pumpkin to create a healthy bechamel sauce that has no gluten at all and has no nuts in it and is super healthy and we're gonna infuse it with a cheesy flavor so we're gonna use nutritional yeast so we don't have to use any processed um, pre-made cheese you buy in the store we can just infuse the bechamel sauce with the cheesy flavor which is very exciting i think and then we're gonna use gluten-free um, lasagna and we're gonna make the tomato sauce with soy but let's get started with the recipe now and I'm gonna show you step by step how to make it. The first step in our preparation is to prepare the soy granule. I used two cups of soy granule and soaked it with around 600 milliliters of vegetable stock. This is important so that the granules can expand in volume and soak up all the flavor. Then the next step is to prep our cauliflower. I used a whole head of cauliflower. I broke it up into small florets. This is important so you can blend and cook it better. Um, wash it and then put it in a pot with water. The next step is to prepare the pumpkin. I used around one cup of raw butternut pumpkin. I just chopped it up, left the skin on, it's no problem. And then you add it to the cauliflower. You cook everything together, make sure to cover the whole cauliflower and pumpkin with water and put the lid on. While the cauliflower and the pumpkin is cooking for the bechamel and cheese sauce and the soy is soaking up all the flavor from the vegetable stock, we're gonna dice an onion and some garlic cloves, which we're gonna use for our tomato sauce. So I'm gonna chop this up and then we're gonna mix it with the soy and with some tomato and we're gonna make our sauce. So now we mince the garlic and we chop the onion and what I like to do to make a sauce more flavorful and to have more of an Italian flair to it, I like to always add fresh herbs and spices and also dry it, they are also fine. And in my last video where I showed you 10 tips how to save money uh, while shopping healthy foods, I also mentioned that I like to freeze my herbs and that's what I did. So I have some frozen rosemary I'm gonna use. I'm always freezing them up as a whole um, and then just take out the leaves, how it looks. It still has a lot of flavor to it, so freezing it is totally fine. And I'm also going to use some fresh oregano, which I have in the fridge. Let's cut this one up and also the oregano and then we can start uh, sauteing the onions and the garlic. Using frozen herbs is so convenient and so easy. Just chop up the rosemary as you would normally and then drain the soil granule from the rest of the vegetable stock that is still left. I used approximately two tablespoons of olive oil, sauteed the onion with the garlic and the rosemary, added some salt and some pepper and then I also added the soy granule and roasted a little bit so the water subsides. Next ingredient is the most important one is the the tomato sauce. I used around 500 milliliters of tomato sauce. This is just a generic usual not seasoned tomato sauce. I mix everything together and then added some tomato paste around four tablespoons because it gives it the more tomato flavor and it makes it more intense. I also used a bay leaf and some pepper and and I checked on the cauliflower and the pumpkin. So you want to cook them until they are fork tender and then drain them from the water so you can add it to the blender. It's super easy and then all the other ingredients will be added as well. Mm -hmm. 
Now we have strained the cauliflower and the pumpkin. Everything is ready. While the sauce is cooking, we're gonna prepare the bechamel cheese sauce. And we're gonna use plant milk for it. You can use any unsweetened plant milk if you like. Also, we're gonna add some nutritional yeast for the cheesy flavor. We're gonna add garlic and onion powder to deepen the flavor profile of the cheese. We're also gonna use nutmeg for seasoning, salt and pepper. Nutmeg is very essential for a good bechamel sauce. We're gonna put everything in here, um, mix it well, and then the sauce is ready. I used around one and a half cups to two cups of plant milk. Then I also added some nutritional yeast, a quarter cup to be exact, which gives it a cheesy flavor. The steps should not be skipped. I also used onion powder, garlic powder, and some salt, and the most important part, the nutmeg. I also used some vegetable oils, which is so important to get the intense flavor. If you wanna be more wholesome and you are not having any problems with nuts, definitely use soaked cashews for that and I also added some lemon juice. So the sauce is now all blended up and smooth and it looks so good. You can add a little bit more salt or more nutritional yeast um, if you like. We have a very creamy texture. It's perfect. I would say this is a lot, like this is a huge quantity, so this is definitely a recipe for four people. But you can freeze the leftovers of the sauce and use it for soups or for any other kind of stuff you usually would use a cheese sauce or a bechamel sauce. So now everything is ready, we just gonna put the final touches on our uh, tomato sauce, uh, season it a little bit more and then we're gonna assemble the lasagna. Now we have everything we need to assemble the lasagna and I already preheated the oven to 345 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius and all we need now is our cheese sauce, our bechamel sauce, our tomato soy sauce and our gluten-free lasagna sheets and we're gonna layer everything evenly in the dish um, and then we're gonna put it in the oven for around 40 minutes. I always like to start with one layer of bechamel sauce or in this case our bechamel and cheese sauce because it does not make it stick to the bottom which is very important for me when I take out the lasagna. Then I add one layer of lasagna sheets, make sure with every step to change the direction of the sheets. Then I add one layer of the tomato sauce and another layer of the bechamel and cheese sauce. And then we are practically starting from the beginning. So we have the bechamel sauce and then we have the lasagna sheets, which we change directions with every layer. And that's how we go on until we have finished all our layers, basically. <laughs> We finished the lasagna with one final layer of the bechamel cheese sauce. You have enough cheese sauce with this recipe, so make sure to use a generous amount for the top. And then you're gonna bake it for 40 minutes in the oven. And the first 20 minutes you're gonna cover it with a tin foil. This is important so the last layer does not burn in the oven. So now you put it in a preheated oven. After 20 minutes, remove the foil, let it bake for another 20 minutes and it's ready and it's so yummy. I also garnished it with some fresh oregano. And this is the lasagna. It's perfect to be served right away. It's so yummy. Or oh, you can freeze the leftovers, no problem, and reheat it any day you're craving a creamy lasagna. This was my recipe for today, guys. It was so much fun to make it, and it's so delicious. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell to get notified every time I post a new video. And i see you next time. Ciao.